One of two teens accused of planning an attack on Mountain Vista High School pleaded guilty today to charges of solicitation of first degree murder and conspiracy to commit first degree murder. Nine wants to know reporter Anastasia Bolton just stepped out of court for us in Douglas County and Anastasia, she's being sentenced to time in youth corrections. Brandon, if the judge approves the conditions of this agreement, Brooke Higgins, 17 now, will spend two more years in youth corrections. She already spent an entire year in detention. What does that mean moving forward? After she gets out, after those two years, she has four more years of a deferred judgment. If she successfully completes that, she could potentially ask the judge to wipe out the conspiracy to commit murder charge, which is a felony off her record. As an adult, living with a felony is incredibly difficult. Again, if she's successful in her deferred judgment. How this all began, according to prosecutors, Brooke Higgins, 16 last year, and Sienna Johnson, her alleged co-conspirator, also 16, were arrested last December, December 12th, that they were planning an alleged murderous attack on their high school right before Christmas break. Now, the extent of the attack has never been revealed to us because the documents in both cases have been sealed because both girls are teenagers under 18. But prosecutors have said that two teens had an agreement to buy weapons and carry out an attack on their high school. So. Brooke Higgins moving forward will have a sentencing hearing uh, coming up uh, in February or sometime next year. In January, though, in the beginning of this of next month, her co-conspirator Sienna Johnson will have a hearing on January 6th. We don't quite know the nature of this hearing, but certainly we'll bring you the details. So her case is still not resolved. Higgins has done her demeanor in court today, Brandon. She almost whispered her answers to the judge uh, when he was asking her questions, which is a typical procedure when it comes to taking a plea. She hugged her lawyers when leaving the courtroom and not her parents. So we'll see what happens next and if the judge accepts the terms of this plea agreement, which once again will keep her in juvenile detention or youth corrections rather for two more years. All right, Anastasia Bolton, things moving quick whenever there's a plea deal. It's not always that way in court. We appreciate yeah. you keeping an eye on it. Yeah.